Yeah, I got it. And, and you've talked about traction before. Um, and uh, just, you know, it, it helps to demonstrate that you have one customer or you've gone from one to five before getting to an angel round and certainly a, a VC round. Something with the companies that we work with, um, maybe underestimate is, within healthcare is how hard it is to navigate into that customer number one and how hard it is to go from there into a customer number five. Can you comment on the go-to-market challenges, tips, observations that you've had for healthcare startups? Yeah, totally. So I'll give you some some tricks here. So the best trick that you can do is get to the point where you steal your competitor's salesperson. Like that should be your first hire. Like, and you should be wooing them like crazy from the beginning. Like, dude, Chris, I know you're doing a thing, but like when you're ready to jump ship, I need you to come to me because they've got all the relationships. They know how to navigate the thing. Like an experienced salesperson in that world is invaluable to a startup. The second thing that I think people don't do enough in the healthcare space is have a direct to consumer pathway. Um, with, with where medicine is at right now, I know everybody wants to chase like uh, the reimbursement and all that stuff, but it is super complicated and very difficult. If you go direct to consumer, you can test a lot of these assumptions um, really, really quickly. And while you build the FDA version of the product, and they could be the same, but you just change something. And so you have like these two products going to market simultaneously. Um, and I wish people would do it, but as you can imagine, very few researchers have direct to consumer experience. Like you see this happening right, right now in like the ED world. Mm -hmm. ED is direct to consumer mm -hmm. and it is crushing, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's women's health issues that are going direct to consumer. Um, and I guess a lot of people are just don't, aren't familiar with how to do it. And so um, that's another one that I would do. The third way I would say traction can be accomplished in healthcare is to have the people who would use it invest. So if you're doing a derma, dermatological device of some sort and you don't have 20 dermatology doctors investing in you, like that doesn't even make any sense. Like you should have hit up every single one in your development process and being like, do you like this idea enough to throw in $25,000? And that's a really good, um, traction point I've seen for angels when, or even early stage VCs, when you're like, look, we've got 10 people who are not only investing, but waiting till FDA approval so that they can use it. 